Earlier in the course, we saw how XOR and XNOR gates were implemented by combining the primitive logic gates and OR and NOR in a particular way. So now we'll look at how those implementations come about. So for an XOR gate, we've got the truth table here. And we can see we've got to write out the SOP expression for the XOR truth table. So for the SOP expression, we just look in the output. So every time the output is a 1, we just get that particular min term. So for this min term here, we've got not A and B. And then for the next one in the truth table, then we just get the min term for that. So that's A and not B. So we just need to sum those together using an OR function. So this gives us the SOP expression for an XOR truth table for an XOR function. So then so this then is as simple the circuit implementation of this. So at that point we'll not A and B. So this will give us not A and B. And here we'll have A not B. So A and not B will give us our final XOR function. So using this, the SOP expression for an XOR gate essentially gives us the circuit implementation for an XOR gate. We just do the same for x nor. So now we're looking in this when we got when y is a one. We got not a and not b because they're both zero. And then this other situation where the output was a one. We look at this min term. We got a and b. So that will give us so by summing those together, that gives us the SOP expression for an x nor gate. And, we get, and then we can just go ahead then and make. The circuit implementation. So at this point we'll have not A, not B, and we'll have A and B. So not A and not B. So that'll be A and B. And that gives us our final X and R expression. So you can see from the truth tables you just get the SOP expressions and then from that you can just create the circuit implementation. So it's not actually possible, even using Bern algebra, it's not possible to simplify those expressions any further. So that's the reason why XOR and XNOR gates are considered to be logic gates in their own right, you know, given their own symbols. We've got these expressions and there's no way to simplify them. To break them down into simpler circuits, we just group them together and just consider that to be a logic gate in itself.